So here's what the dough looks like after it's been rising for about an hour. I don't want to say it's twice its size, but it's a good 30% bigger than what it was. And what you're going to want to do is have flour spread on the surface of your countertop and scrape the dough out. You might find it to be a little stickier than when you first put it in, but that's because it's been rising and the air has stretched the dough out and there's, I don't know, it's more surface area or what it is. You want to sprinkle the top with a little bit of flour as well. And it's kind of a big plop right now, so you just want to kind of push the air out of it. You'll hear it kind of, sort of, like it's parting. And then you kind of make it sort of in a rectangular shape. And take something that won't damage your countertop and cut it into three even strips. You're just going to divide the dough up so you can make the rolls. So fairly even sized. And then you're going to take each one of these and you're going to divide these up into um, however many. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just say six. And what's, what's hard is sort of the technique of shaping the roll. So if you pick up a gob of the dough and you kind of pinch it on the bottom, you're going to have your hands nice and floured and you're just going to keep pushing the dough and gathering it up on the bottom, sort of pinching it together. Smoothing it across the top and pinching it together on the bottom. And then you're going to put it on the pan, greased pan, which this isn't because I forgot to spray it. So you can spray it with pan. Otherwise it's really going to stick bad. So you take your little mushroom kind of a cap See, I'm pinching it and pushing it and pinching it, and you put it right there like that. I'm just going to do a couple, two or three of these so that you can see. You might see bubbles of air, just kind of push them out and pinch it along the bottom. You want to put them fairly close together on your cookie sheet. So I'm going to do one whole row so you can see what it looks like and how close they are because when they touch each other it forces them to rise up instead of out. So having them a certain distance on the pan makes a difference. So you're pushing down and pinching together. Pushing down and pinching together. So here's one row that's about the right amount of space and then I'll put the next row right here and I'll put all 18 of them across here and cover them with a towel and put them in the oven with a hot bowl of water underneath and they'll rise again almost an hour.